Hi, I'm Ash. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're taking a trip back in time and we're making... Synth wave, totally tubular, gnarly genre that takes elements and sounds from 80s pop music and brings it up to date with a lot of modern EDM tricks. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. Let's get right into it. I love this genre so much. For the first sound, I like to use the Rhodes keyboard. It's very 80s, it's got that bodacious. For that, I used this serum preset, which is available in the Discord. Link is somewhere. And since we're dealing with 80s pop, you want to come up with a progression. Super poppy. That classic 6-4-1-5, the... That progression. Now you're probably noticing feels a little slow. And that's because a lot of modern festival mainstream EDM is written in 128 BPM, but a lot of 80s pop tended to be faster, like 165. And then once you layer that with a pad, Juno wavetable and low cut filter. Radical. The next thing you want to add are the all you have to do is just sample an 808, and I mean an actual 808 drum machine. That's right! 808s are more than just the big thumpy sub basses that you hear in hip-hop, dubstep, trap. But to be honest, that's where 808s came from. They're all sampled from this 808 drum machine and put through a ton of processing to get you that awesome modern sound. So in reality, 808s are the original synth wave. The more you know. For the snare, we do the same thing. But I like to also layer it with an acoustic snare. I wrote out the beat like this. Add a little clap. Get those hi-hats in. A tambourine. And then for maximum 80s potential, needs more cowbell! And don't forget our big tom fills. Now a very characteristic thing about any 80s sound is the way that it was recorded back in the day. The thing that made the 80s sound like they were is from tape. And what recording on tape does is it adds this warmth and distortion to the tracks, this natural distortion. And those imperfections got lost with modern technology and how modern sound engineering took over. But if we want to really capture that 80s sound, we want to reintroduce those imperfections, the saturation. And the easiest way to do that is with my friend RC20 and I only put a very, very, very small amount on it just to give the drums that final warmth. Normally I try to find a real bass, but it doesn't look like I have anything like that around here. So I'm just going to toss a bass guitar into a sampler. Sounds super goofy. Would a real bass sound better? Absolutely. But I don't got one, so we're making do with what we have. Plus the fakeness really works with the genre because once again, the 80s were a time when brand new technologies were coming out. Stuff like samplers and synthesizers. So a lot of musicians really tried to use those pieces of technology, even overused it. So having that fakeness definitely helps with the sound. We're gonna do it. To get the bass, I just used the root notes of the chord progression and brought them into the bass channel. Now I want to make it groovy and the easiest way to do that is to pluck it on every single beat and I could write that out manually but use my friend arpeggiator and it gives it an almost punk rock feel and just adding these little accent notes here as well to give it a bit more groove. It sounds super fake but in the mix, trust me, in the mix it works. And now if we want this to sound even more 80s, we gotta have that arpeggiator. Arp or arpeggiator is just a chord where each of the notes are played in sequence really quickly. So you could write that out manually like this. 
Oh. But instead of doing that, I just drag a cord over into a channel. I turn on arpeggiator. I set a specific style, play around with the rates and the gate, and then come up with something. Nice. And finally, a little bit of automation with reverb filter. Give it that swell. All together, we've got. For the drop, I tend to keep this pretty simple as well. I've got the same drum pattern. I've brought in the Rhodes as well and just changed up the rhythm a little bit, give it a bit more bounce. Next, add the super saw. Take the same chord, have them hit each time the chord changes and match everything up. The super saw, I turned down the sustain, decay, and turned up the release so it's really nice and long. Also switched up the bass to a fully synth one. You gotta modernize it somehow. Add that sub bass in. Make it thick. Finally, add a little lead melody on top of the drop. So feel good, just like a lot of 80s pop, it's great. But I'm gonna add a filter on here just in case I wanna add some vocals. So I'd normally add something original here, but if we're going for attention, we want those plays, I'm going to pick something from the top album out right now as of this video, and it is Machine Gun Kelly, the pop punk album. Yo, y'all know I'm a pop punk. <laughs> I love it so much. This is so good. A few moments later. Okay, forget me too. <gasps> i record some vocals. You want me to forget you. So I guess this is just a forget me too cover. Okay, forget me too. And a big trend in this genre, especially the synth poppy, type stuff is pairing introspective or sadder lyrics with an upbeat instrumental. And honestly, I think that's the coolest thing about this genre because especially with what all of us are going through with the current world event right now, it's nice to just kind of have something that encapsulates that sort of mask we put on in order to keep up appearances as we go on throughout our day-to-day -day lives, but it allows us to look inside and continue to be introspective and just deal with what we're all probably going through. It's a great way to get it out. It allows expression that can be understood by so many people. At least as musicians, we get these sorts of feelings out, we get them down, we turn them into art. It becomes something, helps a little. Then we just drown it in reverb. That is gonna be all. If you like what I'm doing, if you learned something today, please like and subscribe to the channel. Really helps me out. A big shout out to all of my patrons. I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting. If you wanna support the channel as well, feel free to do that. There's a lot of goodies on there. But you know, if you'd rather support for free, you can always follow me on Twitch. I go live there every Monday for song feedback and just hanging out. Follow me on all my socials. I see your DMs. Other than that, here's the final song. Enjoy, stay safe, be happy. I'll see y'all next time. Peace! I've wasted so much time.